Joyanti Rohu, a genetically improved labio rohita, was stalked at the rate of 10 numbers per cubic meter in cages at Salia Dam, which attained average weight of 580 gram in six month culture period. Cage culture is a major initiative taken by our institute to boost the productions of the reservoirs as well as the livelihood of the fisher fox living in the cage dependent. In addition to this, SIFRI has taken the initiatives to take diversified species in addition to Pangasiodon hypothalamus. Diversified species such as Puntio sarana, Barbodinus gonionotus, Joyanti rohu levio rohita has been taken new initiatives at Sadia Dam in collaboration with the government of Odisha where we are demonstrating this type of diversified species incorporating into the cage cultures. Besides monoculture, we have also initiated the polyculture with the introduction of 10 to 20 percent of this locally available species which do not serve any problem for the cell as compared to the pangas. So in monoculture as well as polyculture, this species shows very promising results. So this will help in boosting the economy of the farmers. Growth of biofouling organisms in cage net creates a major problem in cage culture. Feasibility of polyculture of Barbonimus gonionotus, Java puti, Puntius sarana, Shore puti or sarana, and Labio rohita, Rohu, with Pangaceous species in cages has also been explored. Inclusion of 5 to 10 percent of these herbivorous fishes has been found to be highly effective as biocontrol agent against biofouling. This also adds to overall fish production from the cage.